Virtual assistants like Alexa and Siri have become an integral part of life for most people. You can ask them questions or even inquire about the date or the time. They, along with smartphones, act as an extension of your own brain. But what if there is no need to ask Siri anything anymore? Because through advancements in AI, you became Siri. And what if this was the only way to defend against artificial general intelligence? On this episode of AI Focus, we'll uncover the developments in the AI space that will eventually lead us to merge with AI. And we get into why we should do it in the first place. What would it look like to be half human, half machine? Would it be anything like the Justice League cyborg? If so, I'm good. Ray Kurzweil, director of engineering at Google, envisions a future where we're all less biological and can implement technology within ourselves. Another step then is in the 2030s when we can actually connect our neocortex, which is where we do our thinking, to computers. So just the way this is greatly amplified by being connected to the cloud, uh, we can connect our own brain to the cloud. Instead of lumbering around heavy machinery, our cyborg future would involve just a chip in the brain where our minds could then upload to the cloud, making us immortal, super intelligent beings. Kurzweil has gone on the record with hundreds of technological predictions and he's been right 90% of the time. He believes medical robots will be able to go inside of our brain and connect our neocortex to the smart cloud by 2029. By 2040, the non-biological portion of our intelligence will be far more powerful than the biological one. If only there were someone leading the charge, someone with the ambition and brilliance to take on such a challenge. Oh, Elon's doing it? Oh, okay then. Elon Musk is the world's busiest and richest man. From Tesla to SpaceX, the brilliant forward thinker barely has time to sleep, but he has managed to develop yet another history-altering project known as Neuralink. Neuralink is Musk's mission to merge humans with artificial intelligence and ultimately save the human race from annihilation by artificial intelligence. Musk fears AI, and he's very open about it. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. This seems Nobody like a listened. scene in a movie. Nobody where listened. The robots yes. are Elon Musk believes that artificial intelligence is the biggest threat to the human race, and the continuous advancement of its technology is a dangerous game. And it's not so far fetched if you think about it. AI can already outperform humans at basically every mental task, like solving equations and playing chess. If we were to develop AI into a wider form of intelligence, it would outperform humans in every single way. But you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Musk sees only one way to stop our impending doom at the hands of this super intelligence, and that is to merge it with our own. You may not realize it, but we're already somewhat merged with super intelligence by our relationship with smartphones and the World Wide Web's knowledge at our fingertips. The only limitation that we have is speed. We have to first search for information and process it before we can relay any information back out. This all takes time. Enter Elon Musk's Neuralink, which is his answer to how we can make humans and AI one. The goal of Elon's Neuralink is to make this connection between man and machine seamless. And the best way to do that is to utilize a microchip brain implant that would fuse the two together. And we'll get into that right now. So what is this brain implant? Known as the N1, the first Neuralink implant is a tiny 4x4 millimeter square chip that can be directly implanted into the brain. Attached to the chip are minuscule wires that are 10 times thinner than a human hair, about the same thickness as a neuron. The wires are put into particular parts of the brain where they can decipher messages transmitted between neurons. The threads then send that info back to the chip where it records the impulses, analyzes the data, then creates its own responses. The chip and wires both read the information the brain communicates and inputs information back into the brain as well. A single Neuralink chip will be able to communicate with 1,000 unique brain cells, and an individual will be able to host up to 10 different chips, resulting in 10,000 different connections. Testing has seen humans controlling robotic limbs 
computer cursors, and speech synthesizers with just the power of their mind. Right now, the best chip, which is FDA approved, has just 10 connections, which means the Neuralink chip is unrivaled. You might think installing a device like this would be extremely complicated and dangerous, but Elon has stressed that the installation of Neuralink chips will be as simple as laser eye surgery. Initially, the installation of the chip will be done by hand, but eventually the implants will be done by machine. Neuralink is putting just as much effort into the development of their robotic surgical device as the chips themselves, and Musk says that the robot can execute the procedure more accurately than any human ever could, and it's the best method to use. Let's hope so. For now, most of the Neuralink technology will be used to help those with physical and mental disabilities, like giving amputees the chance to have their lost limbs back or helping patients with memory loss. Neuralink can take pictures, draw photographs, control heavy machinery with the brain, and allow you to play games without physically touching a controller. But as the N1 chip advances, the possibilities become endless. The installation of brain chips may become as commonplace as plastic surgery, as everyone around you will have the power of a quantum computer in their head. If you want to keep up with conversations and be competitive in the job market, a chip might even become standard. AI's knowledge has no endpoint because it's continuously working things out and becoming better at infinitely faster rates. With Neuralink in the future, you'd be able to do everything you could with your smartphone, but directly through thought. If you had a question, your brain would automatically know it because it had unlimited access to the internet, just like with your phone. You would know the date and time, weather and geographical location without even having to ask Siri. By the way, if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. But Neuralink is also about interaction and communication. The embedded AI can wirelessly transmit electrode signals, meaning that people with chips will be able to communicate with other chip people telepathically. And this communication would be instant. This is something I'm not a fan of, but to each his own. Musk has demoed Neuralink using three pigs, showing one pig's brain activity in real time to a screen the audience could see. They also showcased a monkey that was able to play a game with his mind. Musk has now moved to testing humans. This will prove to be more challenging, especially if the goal is to repair neurological functions, because it involves bridging signals between existing neurons. But he believes Neuralink will move at a faster pace with humans because they can articulate what they're feeling. Unlike animals, 25 years from now, Musk expects Neuralink to have developed into a full brain interface, which will allow full symbiosis between humans and AI, creating real cyborgs. The plan is to first start testing Neuralink in people with severe spinal cord injuries, with the goal of allowing quadriplegics the ability to walk again. The bar the FDA has set for allowing the implantation trials in human brains is extremely high, but Musk isn't worried because his standards are much higher. But Neuralink isn't the only neuro innovator in town. DARPA, or the US Department of Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has more than 200 different science and engineering programs, some of which seek to develop high resolution neurotechnology capable of mitigating the effects of injury and disease on the visual and auditory systems of military personnel. And in 2020, scientists at the University of Delaware discovered a biosynthetic material that could be used to merge a computer with the human brain. Connecting electronics to human tissue has always proven to be challenging when using traditional materials like gold, silicone, and steel. These materials cause scarring, which could damage and interrupt signals between the computer and brain tissue. But this special polymer, known as the P-dot, has the properties needed to get the job done without scarring. In the study, the P-dot film was used with an antibody that stimulates blood vessel growth after injury and can also detect early tumor growth in the body. PDOT can also be used to notice brain and body disorders. Imagine all the kids in your son's second grade class are way ahead of him because their brains are directly connected to a calculator and the internet. Your son is being left behind because he has to memorize things like in the olden days and that takes way too much time. What if your son's teacher brought you in for a conference and told you your kid was the slowest in class? What if he then suggests that you upgrade your son like he was an iPhone? What would you do? Musk's plan to fuse human with machine is a pretty insane idea to think about, but Neuralink's progress is making the idea 
more and more of a reality. In the near future, Neuralink will benefit the lives of many people. But as these chips get more and more intelligent, who knows what could happen? Elon is fearful of a computer-based AI, but has no problem with a human-based one. But I could see bugs and hacking being a major problem of the latter. Let me know what you think about our cyborg future right down there in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that video on the screen to learn about artificial general intelligence, what we as humans will be competing against. And thanks for visiting AI.